Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about how to install SQLite on Windows 10, 2016, 2019, or 2022. So simply come over to this page, which is sqlite.org slash download. And from here, we're going to head over to pre-compiled binaries for Windows section. And from here, we're going to download this SQLite tools for Windows. Now, once the download is complete, simply open up the folder in which you have downloaded the SQL tools. And from here, as you can see that it is a compressed file. So we're going to extract it with the help of either 7-zip or WinRAR. Now for the path, I'm going to go with C and in here, I'm going to create a folder named as SQLite. Then simply click on OK to start the extraction. Now in the C drive and SQLite folder, we can confirm the extracted files. Now to use this SQLite 3, simply open up a command prompt and head inside the directory in which you have extracted the files. So it's CD, C drive and SQLite folder. Now within this, we simply have to type sqlite3.exe and then hit enter. So now we can start using our sqlite on Windows. Now let's talk about how to create a database in sqlite. Now to create a database, if I simply type in the command sqlite3.exe and then I type in the name of the database that I want to create. For example, I want to create a database of employee. So I would simply type in employee followed up by the extension which is going to be .db and then hit enter. Now this is going to create this database employee.db. Now we can verify that we have created the database with the command dot database and then hit enter. So you can see that the database is employee.db and we are accessing it with read and write privileges. Now if you want to see the list of all SQLite options, then we can simply run the command dot help and then hit enter. And if you want to create a table inside that database, then simply use the following command which is create all capital table and then follow it up with the name of the table. For example, it can be engineer and then put round brackets and within these round brackets, we are going to specify the columns or the records that we want to store within this table. So first is ID integer not null. This basically means that we want to store an ID column which is going to be integer and it cannot be null. After that, we can simply type that we want to store the name which is of the text format and it cannot be null as well. After that, we can have person type which is text and it can also be not null. Now once we finish off this command, we simply need to put a semicolon and then hit enter and our table has been created. To verify this, we can simply type in the command dot tables and then hit enter and you can see that we have a table named as engineer. The next step is to simply add data inside these tables. Now I'm going to copy the commands from the blog post which is linked in the description box. So come over to the blog post, scroll down and copy these lines one by one to insert data inside the table. So as we can see that the command is First the keyword insert into followed up by the table in which you want to insert the data followed up by the keyword values and then within the round bracket you specify the values for each individual column. So if I copy this, open up my command prompt, type in the command and then hit enter, I have inserted data inside my table. Similarly, I'm going to do it for two more times. Now after inserting the data, if I want to show data onto my terminal, then I would simply have to type in the command select asterisk from and then engineer table and then put a semicolon at the end and then hit enter. Now this is going to show me the data inside the table engineer. Anyways, that was all about how to install SQLite in Windows 10, 2016, 2019 and 2022 and how to use SQLite after installing it. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And if you check out the commands that I've used in this tutorial, then simply check out the link in the description box of the blog post which I have used. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.